everybody, it's Twyla with Gems and Roses. Uh, today, we're going to show you how to do some Mod Podge um, scrapbook paper on wood, like what I've done here. And I also did it on this one. Um, and so to try to speed up the process, I've kind of taken a few steps, but I'll show you what I started with. I had a blank letter U um, that I've painted white. And it started out like this S. I also have um, some scrap paper that I got on Amazon and I've already cut that out. So what I did is just traced the letter um, onto the paper and cut that out. First step you're gonna take is to paint your, your surface. And then you wanna take your Mod Podge and any Mod Podge will do. Um, I happen to prefer the matte Mod Podge. Um, and then you're gonna put that straight on the face of your letter. Now this is different than you've probably seen and there's a lot of different methods to do this. Um, make sure you get a nice even coat. Um, you can use scrapbook paper, you can use napkins, you can use tissue paper, wrapping paper, um, whatever has the print that you desire uh, can be put on wood using Mod Podge and a heat press or an iron. I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, one step that I think is different than what you might have seen online by others is that I actually dry my Mod Podge um, so that when I put the letter on, it's already dry. So we're gonna just do that real quick. Make sure it's nice and dry. And then when we put the paper on and put the heat press on it, it reactivates the Mod Podge, but it makes it much easier and, and reduces the opportunity for bubbles. So. For me, this is the easier method to use, although I think that everyone finds a way that works for them best. You wanna make sure you get all around the edges because you want that paper to adhere all the way around. And I'll tell you that I cut my paper just a little bit larger than the letter and I will show you just exactly how I'm gonna make it perfectly match to the size of the letter when we're done adhering it. We're almost there. Yeah. Very close. <laughs> some things out of the way. I'm going to bring in our mat. Our parchment paper. I'm going to set the letter down and put our paper See, that's completely dry and it can shift around just where you can set it perfectly where you need it. Okay, so 
we'll give our heat press just a minute to heat up. And then we can press it on and I will show you exactly how you make it even all the way around. You want to put parchment paper on top, making sure not to move the paper underneath so, so that it doesn't, um, so that it adheres exactly where you want it to adhere. It needs to be where you put it. And then we're going to leave it on the heat press for about 30 seconds at 320 degrees. I'll give that just a minute to heat up. I got this paper from Amazon in a pack that was all um, um, like 4th of July, red, white, and blue colors. And I'm going to do uh, the S with the hearts and the A with the blue and white polka dots. Do that when I'm done with the U, and then I'm going to put all three letters on a background, and I'll post that on my website and on my Facebook page when I'm finished. So, <clears throat> give this just another 30 seconds to heat up, and I probably should have turned it on sooner, but I wanted to make sure I had my letter dry. And uh, we'll be ready to go here in just a second. You can find me at Gems and Roses Decor on Facebook, on Instagram, and Pinterest. Um, my YouTube channel is set up under my personal account, so I'm going to add that so that I can put this video out there as well. Okay. We're about ready. Again, you want to make sure that nothing's moved and you put your heat press directly on the letter. And we're going to do it for about 30 seconds. Now, if your piece is bigger than your heat press, in my case, it was for the bunnies I did, um, you just have to move it around and hold it in place so that you get all of the edges really good. I'm just putting about a, you know, just a little bit of pressure, not a lot of pressure on here. Okay. So let's take a look. That is completely on. Oh, it's very hot. So don't burn yourself. Um, we'll leave, leave that to cool off for just a minute. And then I can show you. I'll just hold that on there for a second longer. got so much traffic in and out of my cul-de-sac I've got cars going by which is what keep looking out the window all right okay we're just gonna let that cool off for a second and then we're gonna take a sanding block from Dollar Tree and as soon as this is cool and I can handle it I'm just gonna sand the edges down so you can see how I get it down to um, an even um, even with the U all the way around. So. Still really warm. Ooh. This paper uh, holds the heat, I think. All right. So we're just going to take this sanding block.
the other way you could do this, which I did with my bunnies, is I took an X-Acto knife and I just laid it upside down on my self-healing cutting mat and cut off the excess that way. And then I used the sanding block. But you can see that this is just sanding right up to the edge. Just continue to sand all the way around and you've got your paper, scrapbook paper, adhered to your piece of wood. Thanks for watching and I'll be on again soon.